Hey everyone, in this problem we're going to use regression to find an exponential function to data. Here's the data everyone, it's paper shredder sales in millions, and these are the years. What we're going to do is, we're going to represent the variable x as the number of years after 1990. So of course, 2000 minus 1990 is 10 years, so we'll let x equal 10 here. This will be 11, 12, 13, 14, and 15. So I'm going to enter this in the calculator and show you how we can use regression to do this. So the first thing I'm going to go to is the stat button. And I'm just, it's see how it's highlighted and edit, I'm just going to hit enter. And I want to enter this stuff in L1 and L2 and whoa, hold up, there's already stuff in here. I don't want that stuff there when I enter my data. So all I have to do is hit the up arrow and then I'm going to hit the clear button. And after I hit clear, I hit enter. And it just wipes it out. I'll move the arrow to the right, up arrow here. I'm going to hit clear, and I'm going to hit enter, and now these lists are clear and I can enter my values. So for all one, I'm going to put the x values, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Over here, I'm going to enter these uh, paper shredder sales. We have 280. Keep in mind, everyone, these are in millions. 294, 309, 324, 350 and 406. Looks pretty good. I'm going to go back to the stat button. This time I'm going to error over to calc. I'm going to go down this list and look for exponential reg regression. There it is, right there everyone. Exponential regression. I'm going to hit enter. I'm going to hit now L1. This is located above the 1 button on the calculator. I'm going to put a comma. I'm going to hit L2, that's located above the 2 button. And after this, everyone, I'm going to put another comma. And I'm going to type VARS. I'm going to arrow over to Y VARS. And I'm going to hit Enter, Enter, Enter. And here's my equation. Here's my function. I'm going to put it in right now. This is Y equal to. 136.3939. And what I'm just going to round it to there, it's going to be times 1.07 raised to the x power. Now, in our next step, we're going to convert this to an exponential function base e. So somehow, everyone, we got to turn that. 1.07 into an e raised to some other decimal. Now how can we do that? We're going to use this right here. You remember this? e to the ln of say m equals m. e, e to the natural log of m is m. So what I can do is everyone, I can think, hmm, e to the ln of, let me go over here, see that was 1.07? e to the ln of 1.07 everyone would equal 1.07. This is true. So in this step, I'm going to write this as y equals, I'm going to write this same value for a, 136.39, e to the ln of 1.07x. And everyone, this is the same thing as this. But I would like to know, what is the e to the natural log? Oh, this 1.07. Well, it's this, but I want to know what is the natural log of 1.07 so I can write it as a rate. So I can write this as a nice equation as y equals 136.39 e to some nice growth rate right here with the variable x. So I'm going to find out what the natural log of this 1.07 is. I'm going to my calculator right now. I'll just go, what's ln of 1.07184? Two eight two five. Let's see what we have. It is 0 0.0693. All right. So I can write this as e to the point zero six nine three x. And here we have an exponential function base e. This is equivalent to this. We just changed that base of one point zero seven to e to the point zero six nine three. These are equivalent. Everyone, I want to point out in this calculator, if you go to the y equals button, 
your graph is sitting there. Even if you want to see the graph. You can hit zoom 9 and you check out your graph if you wanted to. Um, if you want to go to stat plot, that's above the y equals. If you want to examine this, you can just turn it on. That type looks good, but I'm going to hit zoom 9 right here. And you can see the exponential fun, okay, fit it to the data as it goes along. And you can trace along here if you wanted to. But we're going to answer these questions using the skills you've learned throughout this whole chapter. After what amount of time will sales be 500 million? What I'm going to have to solve is this equation. 500 million equals 136.39 million e to the 0.0693x. And you probably recall from the work you've done in this chapter, we divide this on both sides, we take the natural log of both sides, and eventually we divide this 0.0693 and we can solve for x. And that would be our time. That's going to be the time we find. So, what you'll find out in the end, once you do that, x will equal the natural log of 500 divided by the 136.39 and all this divided by that rate, 0 0.0693. Now let's see what we get. How long will this take? So I'm going to hit clear here, get a nice window. What is the natural log of 500 divided by 136.39? Close the parentheses, divided by 0 0.0693, and I get 18.7 years. Approximately 18.7, whoops, years. And the final question, hey, what's the double time for sales of shredders? Well, then all I'd have to do, everyone, is say, well, what would be the natural log of 2 divided by 0 0.0693? If you're wondering why I'm just saying natural log of 2 here, one, because I would have started this problem as if, okay, when is the 136.93 e to the 0.069x, when is that equal to double this? And you know, in the first step, we divide this on both sides. That number divide this will give you that value too. So for the final answer to this problem, when will this double? All right, natural log of 2 divided by 0 0.0693. And when I've been rounding these decimals during this entire presentation here, uh, it's always good in math, you know, to keep values going out as many places as possible, but, you know, for demonstration purposes, I've been rounding. Let's see what we get. Uh, it's approximately 10 years. So, double the time for sales shredders, 10 years. And that's it.